Redditor. Man, it's been entertaining us for so long. Like, what are we up to? Like 35 years. I kind of gave up on the new Predator comic book. Went back to the OG. Reading the next one. Predator big game. Let me just tell you this. It gave us what we wanted. Nothing more. Nothing less. Let's get into it. Predator Big Game is uh, 1991, the second in the Predator miniseries. It is um, a dark horse. It is interesting to see uh, John Arcudi and Evan Dorkin's work. I haven't, I haven't read this in many, many years. And basically, the, the, the nuts and bolts of this is actually pretty simple. You just get this. You get crazy, bloody violent predator fun that's what you get if you're looking for rich human character development something intriguing and interesting this is probably not uh, a character let alone a comic book that you probably should be reading it's just that's not what it's designed to do the art is just a typical tremendous art when predator is there when predator is not there it is Horribly inconsistent. Like this guy can draw aliens, but as far as the humans go, by the way, here's a shot of the alien incognito hiding in the tree before opening fire and just blasting the human. But when they do his face and stuff, the faces and stuff, it just gets away from them. The story moves pretty quick, but you do get like, you get panels like this, this guy's mouth. I mean, he's supposed to be yelling, I guess, but he's like a boa constrictor ready to like swallow up something way too large for his head. It's like, it's just absurd. But that's not why we're here, are, is it? No, we're here for this. We're here for Predator. We're here for this. We're here for that. This is what we're here for, right? This is what we want Predator for. We want to see Predator, okay? And uh, let me switch to the next issue. It's It's one of these things where you feel like the comic book artists of today find a book like this almost like offensive or off-putting or uninteresting because they're too busy trying to add like social commentary and, you know, stuff about immigration and things like that. And that's, we don't, we, we, yes, yes. I mean, and the art is crazy. That's not what we're here for. This is what we're here for. We're here for that. We're here for the predator. I mean, because th this this art, it didn't work then. It's worse now because at least there's detail. At least the characters look different. At least they have personality and they jump off the page. There's action and movement and things like that. Um, but that's not why we're reading a predator book. We're reading a predator book for this, right? You know, green blood splatter and the predator shoulder shoulder laser blast i mean you just look at all of this that's what we're here for we're here for that right issue number three it's a four-part miniseries by the way it's it's and it should be economical this is not one of the i guess i want to say this, but it's not one of the more expensive ones i'm not sure that predator other than like the very first predator book i'm not and there's and there are rare ones like i have one that's like there's only a thousand of them or something so there are some that are that are more rare but for the most part most predator books are um not too expensive but you get this incredible detail um Dorkin does a, an incredible job on drawing predator in action so and i think that in the modern comic that i read that was the case there just wasn't enough predator like just get to more of this just get to more of this this is what we want we want that we want this type of action we want just chaos mayhem sweat male toxicity you know yes there's indian native american backstory and we don't really care that much that's not why we're reading this book right that's not what we're buying the next issue we want this right so predator is probably one of those incredible and yet um fun guilty pleasure escape books that's probably not as good as you may remember it to be. But at the same time, I'm not sure what it was meant to be. Like, it, this is what it was meant to be. It was meant to just be an action comic. It's, it's, it's sort of like 
you know, a two star film in the grand scheme of like comparison to the first, like, it's just, it's just more craziness and mayhem and, and just blood splatter and stuff and trying to, you know, can this guy find a way to survive or not? That's literally this entire premise of this story. And that's what we get. You know what I mean? It's not like it's going to be a twist. It's not going to surprise you that much. It's going to end how you think it's going to end. Um, but the journey to get there, the journey to get to that panel is what you're in for. How much blood will be spilled? How many laser blasts will be? How many people will be, be, you know, maimed, attacked, torn apart, whatever. This is, this is what a predator story is simple. And I say all that because I had to sit through that abomination called Bray, which in and of itself is a mediocre film, right? Just an average film. It's fine. You know what? Two, two and a half stars, maybe. I don't find it rewatchable really other than a couple of scenes. This is what I want, though. I want gruesome chaos, mayhem, sweat and muscles and fighting, whatever. Not a 120 pound girl slinging a tomahawk into a tree as though she would survive 10 minutes. It's just, it's just, I don't want that absurdity. This is what I want. So if you want that, you probably can either find it digitally or a trade dirt cheap. I would assume the issues themselves are very, very cheap. If I had some, I'd probably give them to you. I think, I think these are, these are gone, but um, man, yeah. Read something like this. Just have some fun for a minute. Just read through something to escape and say, let's just blow some crap up and see some blood splatter and stuff like that. Does the story even matter that much in a predator book? No, it's like when I when I did the video on Pit, you're not reading Pit for some comparison to like Watchmen or V for Vendetta or something. No, you're watching Pit to see these muscle bound creatures and blood and violence and chaos and mayhem. That's what these are for. <laughs> oh, I found it very refreshing. I had a good time. Hopefully it's something you might want to try. And if you like it, let me know. If you hate it, let me know that too. Take care, everybody.